Jessica is designing a new clothing line. Yes, she definitely has a passion for fashion, but it looks like she's about to run out of sharpened pencils. This is what happens when you procrastinate and leave things like this until the last minute. I think it's time for you to go on a sharpening spree. Wouldn't you say? I know this might take forever, but on the bright side, all these pencil shavings might turn into an amazing piece of art. I'm sure we could arrange a lovely gallery using these small pieces. We just need a cute little drawing and a dash of hot glue. Just stick it on and that's it. Sometimes that's all you need to bring your drawing to life. From simple skirts to rockets fuel, flowers and ice cream cone, wings and more. Emma is about to pass out at school, which is the perfect opportunity for her classmates to pull a prank on her. You know, we wouldn't want her to miss a thing, would we? Madison, as good as a friend as she is, feels like it would be the best to keep Emma's school notes highlighted. This book is being passed along and both Noah and Emily have something to add. I have a feeling it has nothing to do with class. <laughs> there you go, Emma. This is what happens when you don't get a proper night's sleep binge-watching Netflix. Who did this, you may ask? Let's just say I blacked out there for a second and have no clue who it was. In any case, a wet finger is not going to help you out here. And the erasers are meant for pencils, silly. Is there anything else you have in your backpack to counter these doodles? <laughs> I feel like we're about to run out of salad dressing. You'll just need a cotton swab with some lemon juice and use a liquid to remove the highlighter. I know, right? It's like a magic wand. The citric acid within the lemon is known to fight highlighter marks at ease. Madison, your prank didn't work after all. In your face, sister! The girls are back home after school and are working on their math assignments. Emily is about to show off her new fancy-looking pen she bought the other day. Yeah, I feel like our boring pen could use a change. Something as cool as this lava lamp, for example. Any chance we could do something similar? And she's off! First of all, let's remove the ink tip and cover the end with hot glue. This will prevent it from getting mixed with the baby oil and food coloring. Grab a dash of baby oil and using a pipette, drop it inside the pen. And add double the amount of food coloring. Just make sure to leave some space for the ink shard to fit in. Voila, you're done. The oil and food coloring mix will produce tons of colorful bubbles for you to marvel at. Go ahead and try out other food coloring combinations. Just like that, we created a lava pen and it only took us a minute. Even Emily finds it way cooler than the fluffy pen she bought. Don't worry girl, we made an extra one just for you. Those lava pens are hot. Don't get burned, girls! <laughs> Emily just finished her laundry and is about to hang up her clothes. It looks like her laundry machine made a big mess. How did that happen? Did you forget to double check the pockets before putting all the stuff inside the laundry machine again? Classic Emily. Nevertheless, this isn't so bad. We could make something wonderful out of that colorful stain, don't you think? Simply continue to add more water in order to keep the bag somewhat wet and add as many colorful markers as you can find. I'm more of an abstract fan. Puzzle shapes and curvy lines doesn't take much skill. The water will blend the colors like a cloudy blur. Keep repeating the process until the whole bag is colored. Emily is done with her masterpiece and is ready to head out. The water helps to smooth out the transition between the colors, giving it a rainbow feel. The girls are rocking their art class. And as always, Jess will focus on fashion as much as she can. Wait, what's that? It looks like Jessica stained her palm with graphite. This can get messy pretty fast and removing it can be a struggle. Any ideas, Emily? 
Not sure if this napkin will be enough, darling. Luckily for us, Emily remembered she has a pack of lip balm close by. Simply apply some lip balm on your skin, give it a minute to soak in, and use a cloth or a napkin to brush it off. Whoa, that's amazing! Taking it off was almost zero hassle! Emily is about to find out she's running out of graphite and her pencil is getting too short to hold. The same goes for the rest of her pencil case. They've sure seen better days. Hmm, I noticed Jessica uses her pencils to tie her hair back every once in a while. That's a really cool idea. Is there any chance we could do something similar with the shorter ones we have? Emily is determined to try this out. First of all, let's sharpen both sides of the pencils. Now simply glue them to a used brooch. A rainbow color transition should do the trick. Boom, it's done. Can't wait to see you try it out. Wow, Emily, it looks adorable. The necklace is such a nice touch. Another brilliant idea. Ooh, the cutout earrings. Is there anything you can't do? After an exhausting class, Emma is back at home and feels like staying in for the night. These sticky notes are everywhere. It would be a shame to waste all this paper without at least reusing some of it. Emma might have just come up with an idea on how to stay on track while reading. Take a sticky note and flip it to the unused side to draw a delightful minion character. Grab a pair of scissors and cut it out. Next, glue your minion stick to the flat edge of an elastic band using a single drop of hot glue. It's done! Go ahead and hook the elastic band over the book. Emma just created a custom bookmark and is going to spend the rest of her night reading. While she enjoys her book, our fellow minion will keep her company and keep an eye on her lines. Jessica is a fashion enthusiast, and she's looking for new clothing ideas. So far, nothing good has popped into her mind. We're looking for something simple and minimalistic. Hold on a second. Maybe those sharp notebook lines are just what she needs to make her white shirt pop. Lay down the shirt and place a piece of cardboard inside. Cover the whole shirt with horizontal lines of paper tape, keeping small lines in between. Next, paint the space between the tape using a blue paintbrush. Remove all the safety tape and add another two vertical strips in order to create a single red line. This is the key element for the notebook vibe. Remove the remaining tapes and write your name on the very top corner using a permanent marker. Maybe practice first, you only have one chance. Voila! Jessica is about to go back to school and show off her playful, eye-catching t-shirt. Ashley is highlighting lines in her notebook. One highlighter after another, she wants to make sure everything is neatly organized. But somehow, she lost one of the lids and can't seem to find it. We need something to cover this marker with. Meanwhile, Emily wants to line her eyelashes, and luckily for us, she is about to discover she is all out of mascara. It probably makes sense to just throw it away, but wait, hold on, sister. This is exactly what Ashley needs to save her highlighter from drying out. Pull the bottom off the highlighter and place it on the side for now. Use pliers to remove the mascara wand, and then do the same for the inner plastic. Now place the highlighter inside the old mascara and continue to use it. It works exactly the same. And best of all, we won't need to worry about losing the lid anymore. There we go, Ashley just disguised her highlighter as a playful mascara bottle. Just make sure none of your classmates accidentally highlight their eyelashes. <laughs> Madison had another sleepless night and can't stay focused. She is about to pass out in class. Girl.
girl, you can't sleep in class. At least not like this. A pile of notebooks might be a bit too low for your head. I wish there was something comfier around. That pencil case is also not going to help you out either. Hmm. And a lunchbox is definitely too hard for your chin. All this discomfort doesn't change the fact that she's about to pass out in class. Ouch! Might as well go back home and take a nap, Madison. Jeez, ouch, that looks really bad. The dog destroyed Madison's soft toy this morning and cotton wool is scattered all over the place. Madison just thought of an idea on how to put this stuffing to good use. Let's empty this Ziploc bag and then stuff it with this leftover cotton wool. Now to just place this new padding into the front pocket of our backpack. Zip it up and we're done. Madison will no longer have to worry about comfort because she'll be able to grab a quick nap anywhere. Well, as long as no one's watching. Sweet dreams, Madison. Hey, panda lovers, I hope you enjoyed these packs. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.